Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we actually uh, got some news that uh, Coffee Dad is actually a dad for real. And also that uh, our deal with Alibaba is off. So, uh, yeah, everybody's just relaxing and everything but I, I don't know I don't know I, I just mm, something about Medjid just scares me like it says still be cautious of Medjid so I doubt this is gonna go gonna go way easily anyway uh, I think I'm gonna read more but I'm gonna take a few to actually think about what I want to read so yeah I was gonna like think about it but honestly I haven't been thinking about long, but let's actually catch up on the medjet, uh, medjet thing, cause we're dealing with them, so might as well. Good or evil, the threat of medjet can be felt all over the world. What are your thoughts? The dangers are fit in the internet world too. It seems. Whoa. You can still, you still got a time to read. Let's go a little further. And virus protection introducing the new software. Huh. Interesting. Oh. So, you finished reading Medjet Menace? There were like gentlemen thieves targeting evil corporations, but now they're just glory seeker hackers. Glory seeking hackers, my bad. And it just knew my words are a little bit hard for me. I get it, Morgana, it's fine. They're sort of like us, fan of thieves, in that nobody knows exactly who they are. That section on computer sec security was difficult, but I'm sure you gained some knowledge from it. <laughs> Three knowledge. I don't know what's the first thing that's gonna go up to rank five. So I need to level my kindness. Well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. I agree. I agree. Mm hmm. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You seem quite busy, Sai san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. Mm hmm. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? <laughs> Jeez. Stress is bad for the skin, you know. <laughs> Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? Jesus. Sorry, How please. about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? Hmm? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. Yes. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Hmm? Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Huh? No. You're completely There's wrong. At the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Mm -hmm. hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Oh. So he's a guardian? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. Okay. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Well then, to our victory. Uh, come on, man. Okay. Time for sushi. The place is in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? We have a new... Huh. 
Ooh. Famous for luxury shopping. Its property values are the highest in all Japan. The forefront of trends. Aside from the shop, cafes are plenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. All right. You now have information on a new hangout spot. Ginzu Sushi Bar. You can also invite people who may enjoy eating expensive sushi to hang out with you there. Hmm. So that ba basically is how I would take them to the threshold of ranking up. Ooh, it's fancy and good. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy I it. I don't see any prices listed here. Because only people with money come here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Do we? So good. I swear if I end up paying for you guys, I am going to flip. Tuna ready yet? Calm down. Put your horses. And don't talk. Mm hmm By the way. Yes. Is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? Of course not. That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. He would never do that. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No. No chance. No chance he would. Hmm. You escape. I swear if you make a comment about the food. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Doubt it. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Calm down, Morgana. Hold on a sec. About that. Mm -hmm. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Good. Wait, you think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? Ooh, could be. Wait. He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Uh... Doubtful. Yeah. Your imagination has run rampant. <sighs> You had us on the first half, not gonna lie. How foolish. You're an idiot. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Mm. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> oh my god. Can you shut up? Crap. Oh my god, Ryuji. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. You're an idiot. My god, can we just tape his mouth every time we're in public? Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Yes. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Uh-oh. Akechi-kun. Akechi? Hey. You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Yes. Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? Mm. I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? Yeah. War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again. <laughs> Let on translate. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? On. Oh, um. 
She's uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. God. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? Mm -hmm. My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Why? Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. Uh, Makoto's still a uh, Shujin Academy student, so... It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. <laughs> Why would I? Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Yes. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Mm hmm. Hmm. What would I do? I would retaliate to save the people. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Mm hmm. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. Yeah. I'm My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have mm -hmm. a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. Huh. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Mm, interesting. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. You kind of insinuated that. Reggie's a Phantom Thief! Hmm. You're the suspicious one on Catchy Coon. Mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. Hmm. Really? I'm glad. You really are an intriguing one. So are you. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? It is. I agree. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> oh. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> Calm down, Ryuji. Well. This has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. All right, you as well, Akechi Kun. Not. What was that about? He's suspicious. Do you of think us. he's ascertained our true identities? He's close. Nah, couldn't be. Right? No, he's very close, guys. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. Yeah. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. Mm-hmm. Not to be more True. cautious. But it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. Okay. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. Wow. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. What? We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Those bastards. Oh, sounds bad. Extremely. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? Yeah. And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. They are? What are we gonna do about this? <sighs> Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. Yeah. I agree. Oh boy. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. How will we contact Alibaba? Question is, how do we get in touch with him? Mm-hmm. 
He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Mm. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Hmm? Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, yeah. how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? Mm -hmm. You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Yeah. Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. I would say the chief, but... The chief was surprised when we knew about Futaba. Unless it was acting. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. Mm. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. Mm. It seems to me... Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Oh! That's actually quite the analysis. Good job, Makoto. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? That's actually Maybe smart. she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. Yeah. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yeah. I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? Hi, what's we'll up? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! Too bad. No complaining. I need to do this. Let's all go together. It's a sacrifice for the better good, Morgana. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Oh, 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 true, true. Let's all go. Nobody's answering. Oh. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. Yeah. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Hmm. Oh. Oh. The gate is unlocked. Ah, oh, Yusuke. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. I agree. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Um. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Uh. Well, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Okay, might as well. Do you think that's okay? I have no other know. choice. Probably. My apologies, boss. I'm sorry, Coffee Dad. We're intruding. We're gonna get soaked if we don't. Uh, hello. Sir? He's not out, is he? It's a big house. The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? <laughs> That's rude. Let's check on him. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Yeah, we should. Please excuse us. Scream? What was that? How should I know? That's a good question. Did you hear that? Yep, I heard it. Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are nope. you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Could be. On? Where are you going? Oh. Uh Sorry, um, can I hold your hand? Sure, no problem. Aww, it's so cute. <gasps> it's okay, Makoto. I I'm can here. sense someone's presence. I can Who feel it. it. Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. Yeah, let's go. Makoto? Move. Carry her. <laughs> Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? 
<laughs> that was her, right? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please save me, sis. <laughs> Are you okay, Butala? Uh-oh. Crap, he's home. Oh, boy. Hi? Who the hell are you? Don't move! It's just me! You hear me? Okay. Hi, I'm Coffee sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. <laughs> you? What are you doing in my house? It was about to rain and I came in to save myself from the rain. You're... Hi. Oh, good... Good evening, sir. We... We didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Yes. Wait, are, are you two dating? Um, no. We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... Hi. You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. Mm hmm. The door was unlocked? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Gotta be careful, Coffee Dad. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Oh yeah, he is a dad. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too. I did. I did. No, I. I'm. Uh, yes. Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no it's not like that. Mm. <sighs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. Mm. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. She's still gonna hear us. I think the coffee shop is bugged. But yeah, all right. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. Hmm. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. <laughs> Even with that, she always took good care of her. So good Working mom? and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. Yeah. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about her father? There wasn't a father. Huh? Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. Huh. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. Hmm. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day she left, leaving Futaba behind. What? Why? Did she die? That's the only explanation. Yes. She committed suicide. Huh? Suicide? Why? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. <gasps> Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. Oh my god. 
So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? It's not easy. I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out. Hmm? Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? Why? What? But why? Thank you, An. That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening. What do you mean? She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Uh-oh. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you what? taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. Oh. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Yeah. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. Mm. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I see. I understand. Don't worry about it. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That means after we solve Futaba's whole thing, I can have a house to stay? Don't push your luck. I just want a house, man. Come on. I just want my own room. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. Mm. Understandable. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. Yeah. It's all I can do, though. Is that what you desire? What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Mm. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Mm. I'm gonna head back then. All right. You all had better head home soon, too. Hmm. We can't leave I her feel like that. awful for prying into his personal affairs. But we got more information. No way in hell he's abusing her. Exactly. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. Mm -hmm. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? That's my question, too. If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Yeah. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Ooh, Let's we check. haven't tried. Yeah. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. Oh! She does have a palace. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Morgana? Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. Uh-oh. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Oh, come on! Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Wait, that was all, all the summer vacation? Oh, right. The urgent assembly. Oh, that one, yeah. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. Mm. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I agree. 
I mean, it is our fault. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. All right. <laughs> no way in hell he's abusing her. Mm -hmm. That's her, the right? The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. <coughs> Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? So she's just listening hey, on Morgana. everything. Morgana. Oh, there's Morgana. <laughs> hey, Morgana. Boom. Just out of nowhere. Where'd Morgana go? All right. With all that. Whew, I'm not going to continue forward anymore because I feel... I'm not even going to touch it. Because I feel like it's going to be a long one. So I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Oh my god, guys. Like That is insane. We got so much information this episode. And we finally meet up with Futaba, I guess. So, in a way. Uh, so, yeah. Whew. In the next episode, we're going to go with the meeting and see what else is in store for us. Anyway. If you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.